I thought we'd eventually reach a point where we would stop talking about JTEC TV. But the guy's such a fucking moron. He's been the topic at hand for quite a while, and for good reason. If the Urban Dictionary ever needed a picture to use as an example of a fanboy, JTEC would be all you need. Mainly because he would actually fit on a page and not Crap Gamer. But Papa Frit, you already surpassed JTEC a long time ago. You beat him at his own game. You made him look like a fucking moron several times. What is there left to do? Well, there really isn't anything left to do other than ridicule this idiot, because I don't even think he believes in the absolute elitism he's involved with. But that's okay, that's okay. Instead, I want to pick apart the mind of JTEC and this console exclusivity complex that he has, or shall I say, more of a syndrome. But in order to do that, I invited our good old friend. Everybody, here's Mr. JTEC. Hey, Jay, how you doing? <laughs> what the fuck is Undertale? That wasn't really a answer, but either way, what exactly keeps you so obsessed with the idea that a game must remain exclusive to a platform in order for you to properly enjoy it? Could you please, please, and I, I, I don't want to seem like a hassle. Just leave me alone. You're not a gamer. Well, uh, uh. This is going nowhere. Let, let me try again, Jay. Would you have enjoyed Crash Bandicoot just as much as you did if it was on all platforms? Because according to your Twitter, you seem to think otherwise. What is your response to this? People like yourself just confirm that you won't buy new things. All right, this is clearly not going to work. There is no communicating with a fanboy. So let's break it down. Ask yourself, who within all of the universe and existence itself, who would care about a game remaining exclusive to a platform? Is it something that matters to anyone? So much so that they decide to form a club surrounding a specific brand because it has games others can't play. Well, I'll tell you right now, the only ones to care so are fanboys. And that's exactly, as we all know, what JTEC is. Because in a world where consumers have a limited set of money and can only afford one platform and a set of games, exclusives do not benefit them. They don't benefit those who have a limited choice. But I'm sure some of you are asking, well, doesn't it benefit those who bought the platform so that they actually get money's worth out of it? Pretty much, no. If the games can physically run on multiple sets of hardware, but is prevented, that's not exactly a benefit to the purchaser because all it means is that they were suckered into buying a specific box, even though that game is physically capable of running on another set of hardware just as well. It's buying hardware for the sake of buying hardware. It's spending hundreds of dollars to get the most out of gaming and the only ones that do benefit from this are the companies. But this is common sense, we all know this. And many of us, we don't support this practice. What kind of outright idiot would support this? Who would have the mental capacity to think that this is a good thing? Oh wait, that's right, we're talking about JTEC TV. Well, there you go, there's your answer. People like JTEC TV. Now, of course, as we all know, JTEC TV is the biggest <laughs> And I mean biggest PlayStation elitist slash fanboy, the head honcho of the PlayStation Legion. If you all remember last year, Crash Bandicoot got a remaster. And if you didn't grow up playing Crash Bandicoot, well, go back. It's actually a pretty decent platforming series. So for the series to get a overhaul and a remaster, I can genuinely see why lots of people would be excited. But then of course the corporate bullshit comes in. Sony kept that locked exclusively for over a year. Meaning that if you didn't have a PlayStation, this game was not made available to you. You see how exclusives suck? They just prove it on their own. Anyway, now imagine if a year later, it was announced that this game would be coming out on all platforms and would no longer be a PlayStation exclusive. You're probably thinking, hell yeah, now I don't have to go out of my way to get a PlayStation 4, or gee, now I can play it on the go on the Switch, or wow, now I can play it at 60 FPS on the PC. Imagine 
Well, you don't have to imagine anymore because that is now a reality. Okay, now imagine that there was a malicious person out there with a sick mindset. A mindset that if this game were to release on other platforms, it would suddenly lose its value and quality. It would no longer be a great game, it would just be an okay game. Better yet, imagine that the game no longer means anything to you. All those hours you put into the game, all the joy you received, all the memories you built playing this game are suddenly gone because the idea of others that don't own the same box you do are able to play it. This seems almost like a character, an unrealistic mindset to have, but I can assure you this is the exact mindset our friend JTech TV has. The exact same mentality a five-year-old with a toy would have if he saw another five-year-old with the same toy. Because in the mind of this idiot, games aren't for everyone to enjoy. Specific games are only for specific owners. Anyone who isn't the owner of that box has no right to talk about the game, no right to talk about all the enjoyment they had from it, or enjoyment they wish they could have from it. Because according to JTech TV, you should be busy playing something else instead of thinking about this one game. You can't have it. It's mine. And other companies are stealing these exclusives. I don't exactly know how a company could ever steal an exclusive legally and get away with it. But then again, remember, this guy's a retard. Well, Fritanga, if you look at it logically, Sony could be on a losing end if they lose this game as an exclusive. So maybe JTEC's mindset is on that. Well, this game has been exclusive to the PlayStation 4 for nearly a year. So any success, any units sold because of this game have pretty much already been sold initially. So it now going third party helps the game. It's already done its work for Sony. Now it's available for everyone. The only people that would ever care about keeping track of a list of exclusives for Sony or Microsoft or Nintendo or even the PC are unhealthy minded individuals with absolutely no life, no identity, and no purpose. What's JTEC's response to this tragedy of losing an exclusive, you may ask? Well, his response is, of course, to point out that the PC lost an exclusive. Oh my heart. My heart bleeds. My heart bleeds to the idea that other people will be able to play this great game that was on the PC. Imagine that. Other people getting a chance to play a game that's great. Ugh, they didn't support it on its proper platform. And people call me the elitist. Furthermore, JTEC TV retaliates at the idea that other people will be able to play Crash by reminding them that they won't be able to play Spider-Man. You know, that one with the quick time events and the practically choreographed gameplay. Yeah, that one. JTEC is the worst type of gamer. Divisive, selfish, elitist. He has no interest in the enjoyment of video games, rather the enjoyment at the success of a company. Now I'm not going to debunk a JTEC video, but I will play little bits of this one clip from an abomination of a video. And we're gonna listen very closely to what JTEC has to say to those who plan on playing Crash on their preferred platform. Um, seeing as though you guys are gonna have three Crash Bandicoots on three different platforms, uh, there should be no reason for any of you three platform holders to be begging for Spider-Man. There is no reason why Spider-Man needs to be on the Nintendo Switch, PC, or Xbox One. There is no reason. These are my games, not yours. You can't have my games. That's basically what's being said here. Why should this game be on your platforms? Well, Jay, why shouldn't it? What's wrong with people wanting Spider-Man? You can't tell people that they have no permission to desire or want a game on their preferred platform. That's not something you can take away from people. And remember, you have three Crash Bandicoot games coming to your three individual platforms. So you guys should be very busy playing those games instead of worrying about the, what is it, the Marvel Avengers Infinity War outfit that might be a pre-order bonus or the spider-man homecoming outfit that might be a pre-order bonus uh for spider-man on the ps4 um none of that should be your concern
No, people can be concerned about whatever they want. Say people don't own a PS4 and Spider-Man is on their mind. They're going to be looking into the game. Maybe it's what's gonna push them to buy a console, even though that's uh, poor consumer practice. Maybe that's what they are looking for. It's pathetic. This fanboyism that envelops you. It's put you to the point that you don't want others to enjoy a game you enjoyed. That's asinine. It has no place in the gaming community. You're a parasite. And it fills me, it fills me with joy that your loss of an exclusive is the gain of many other gamers out there. You were wrong about Neo, Nier, and now Crash. Jay, how about you shut your mouth? How about you don't tell people that a game will never come to their platform? How about you stop holding games above people's heads, dangling it like a dollar bill, telling them that they can't have it because you look like a fucking idiot when you lose those games. I mean, <laughs> you even got me saying it. Losing. What were you losing? You still have access to these games. They're still on the platform you can play on. There is no loss. The only loss there is is in brain cells, you fucking idiot.